Okay, I'm here to show you how to uh, make you, your icons on your PSP for your music and video and edit the game files on your music module and edit your photos. Okay, this is my link. It's http www.psbhacksmods.com and it's uh, PSP Content Manager V8 1.8. I'm going to uh, uh, copy the link into the uh, description so you can download it. Okay, here it is. Here it is. There. That PC. Then you go down to download Content Manager 1.8. I'm using Netscape, so it should say. You go and one more because here also do the last. Then you click OK and it should download there. And there it is. So it's the file. Dragged. Welcome. No, it doesn't work. You click OK. Click OK here. Close that. Minimize my web browser. Go to uh, the PSP Contact Manager 1.8. Use double click to see. <laughs> and you can see all the PSP up. And then you double click. And then you subscribe it. And click refresh. And I'll have my PSP. So we might be able to PSP update. My video, which I've got to play. So, my music, which I'm going to show you what it's here today. Special Heroes. You can go to Edit Tab, or actually, My Music. Some words didn't work. Been a bit wrong there, so gotta go to Malware. That's my one of my favourite artists. And um, this is this one called Carol. It's really good. Just go to Edit Tag. You can type in your thing there. Which one is that? Mal. Malware. Find a picture of them, and it's my web there, so I just click open. You can see it there, and it should come up just there. So I can get loads. It's taking a long time to load because, well, the thing, and there it is the icon. So then you go to the PSP. Now I'm going to go to Now I'll see if you see some cool and look You can almost see the icon That's on your PSP So that's your PSP uh, music done You can edit your video icons Okay, so cool, yeah, I can edit my video. I'm going to change from my image. Add a picture. I'm just going to do this alien thing. And then it will take a little while. So 
is a kind of decent picture. And then there would be this, uh, my little game of uh, Transformers image. And there uh, is uh, this thing. So that's how you can edit your little thing. And then on your PSP, it should come up. Oh, by the way. I'm running a version from my 3.72 and it's really good. Mm. You should download it because I can get all these custom things like I've got in Linux. So then I go to my uh, video folder. And the uh, movie will have a Nikon so you can edit them. And look, there it is, the icon. I showed you earlier on. So you can exit, and I'll go back to your scene mode. And I'll go back to the computer. Okay, so it's back in. I'll just cancel on that. And let's just close this folder I've got. Then I've got the uh, homebrew, which is not homebrew really. I can edit the icon. I can edit the icon. Then add a bit of background music if I've got any. Because if I probably haven't, but. You can add background music to it, and then you can edit animated icons, background picture, the content description picture, background music, and animated icons. I just OK that. I've got music, photo, save data, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and if you've got one in custom combo. Or 1.0, you can do UMB ISO. So I'm going to show you the music, which I've got in mind. Photo, and it will load my photos. Just about now, because I'm down there. So you've got my photos. You save data, so you can edit all the icons of PSL. So this is great for developers who are looking to uh, make PSP files. You have the ISO, which I don't have any of at all. The bookmark, PMP video, 3.40 OEA, OE, because I don't have that anyway. And your RSS channel, which is really good because everyone likes it. So I'm going to say bye now. Bye, I hope you like the uh, tutorial. You can use this program. I'm going to paste a link into the description, just click on it and go to download, and you should try it out, it's really good. Bye.